give this presentation of my Google Slides. Now, what I'd like is to have some audience participation. So I don't wanna just talk about my presentation, but I wanna have my audience participate. So what I like to do is to ask my audience a question. So I have a slide here which has one text box and I want the audience to answer my question. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to the add-ons menu and under audience participator by Alice Keeler, I want to set up form. When I set up the form, it is gonna create a Google form that allows my audience to interact with this Google Slides. So I'm gonna create the form and I'm gonna find that it's gonna open up in another tab. Now this form is automatically linked to the Google Slides. You don't have to do anything. After you chose set up form, it creates the form and it links the form and the slides together. So it automatically has a spot for the question, for them to put their name, and it has a section which helps me to identify where I've pushed the question from. You don't wanna really mess with this form, just leave it the way it is. It is intended to just allow the audience to answer a question and for it to become part of your slides. You're gonna to wanna to distribute the form to your audience. The way I generally will do that is when I'm using the Google form, I'm doing it like I can fill it out. I come up in Chrome and create QR code and this gives me a QR code that I can download and I can allow audience members to fill out this form which then would become part of my slides. So I am a big fan of Alice Keeler add-ons. Submit. And if I come over to my slides, no effort by anyone, once the audience member fills out the slide, it is going to automatically show up right here in the presentation. So I'm gonna add-ons, audience participator, push question. And you can see over here in the Google form, it automatically says, have you used an Alice Keeler add-on, which is pushed from this particular slide. So I'm gonna say, yes I have. Alice, submit. And come over to the slides and you'll see that it added that answer right into the Google Slides. Now what they're able to do is keep reusing the same Google form. So they're gonna be able to submit another response. You wanna have them hold on to that because you are gonna then come to the next question that you have and again, I only have one text box on here because I'm gonna push this question. So I'm gonna go add-ons, audience participator. I can push question or I can show sidebar. And in the sidebar, it says that I can push question. You can see in the Google form that it has updated the question in the same form. And when audience members go to fill out the form a second time, they're gonna see the updated question. I download mine from schoolitics.com, submit, come back over here, and you're gonna see that it did push it from the form to the slides. Something that's really important for using Audience Participator is that you have the layout called Title and Body. If you're using Slides Mania or some other template that has deleted the Title and Body, that is going to be a problem because the code is looking for these two text boxes that are in the Title and Body slides. So you are able to use the view menu and go to theme builder and on the title and body I have updated it using a Canva background. I can go ahead and adjust the text boxes so it fits in there and extend that. Make sure it's 
sure it's left aligned. And down a little bit. So you can adjust design the layout under the view menu theme builder, but it does need to be that title and body because that is what's going to be pushed. So when I take my question, what would you do with your roster? And I can push the question. The audience can respond. Submit. And you can see how it was automatically added right into my slides and those adjustments that I made to the theme builder do show up here. So it really is a great and easy way to have interactivity automatically with your audience.